Hi guys, my name is Ness and for the purpose of today's video I would just like us to believe that I've brushed my hair today. Ignore the thing. Today is a day I've been waiting for for so so long. I changed my bookshelves around today to make my summer shelf which is the books that I have to get around to reading in summer this year. If you've been subscribed to me for more than three months you'll notice that I did a video three months ago called my spring TBR shelf which was books that I really wanted to get around to reading in spring and here's how I got on. So this is my spring shelf and you might have noticed that my bookshelves have actually changed. They used to be a grey colour and now I have a white one because I had to buy a second bookcase which I've already filled up and I feel really terrible about it so hopefully the summer will help clear away some of these books. Um, I started with 16 on my shelf and I read 10. The Silkworm should also be in here but it wasn't actually mine, it was my grandma's. And the ones I didn't read were Air of Fire which is the third book in the Throne of Glass series Wolf Hall, which is a historical fiction novel, Stephen King, um, 11-22-63, and The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. Um, I'm currently reading Dominion at the moment, but I haven't got very far in it. And the other one which I had on here was the first book in the Mistborn um, trilogy, but I actually gave that, well, I'm giving that book to Rebecca from Crafts and Reads, because in a charity shop I actually found, like, a full set of three of them, like a box set. Um, so I didn't get around to reading that but now I want to read all three in one go um, I might actually put them on my summer shelf I'm not too sure what's going on here yet I did put something on Instagram about it and someone's been sending me some recommendations of what I should read um, which I'm really happy about but what I did read um, was these ten, was these nine and Silkworm the first book in the Luna Chronicles Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is a standalone. The second book in the Throne of Glass series. Part two of book three in A Song of Ice and Fire. Actually, after I read this, I went and read the fourth one straight away. So I haven't just been reading these books. I've been reading other ones as well. I read Shadow and Bone, which is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. And I hated this. Nope. Um, then I read Delirium by Lauren Oliver, which I also didn't like. And then I read These Broken Stars, which I have an individual review of this one on my channel, which is two videos back, I think, and I really love this. Then I read Lolita, which took me a while to read, but I absolutely loved it. I think I gave this five stars on Goodreads. I'd still give it five stars. I'm going to be doing a review for it on its own. And then I read the third book in the Lunar Chronicles, which I also loved. Um, and Silkworm as well. Um, I think I mentioned these three and the Silkworm in one video which was my May wrap up I think. Um, that one also has its own. It's only these three and this one that I haven't spoke about in other videos. Um, yeah I loved I loved this one. Um, I'm going to talk about this as a series and like in one video. I don't even want to talk about these because these annoyed me. Yeah but I love Cress and I'll be talking about this at the end of the month. So do I think that having a TBR shelf has helped me with my reading habits. Yes, I do think it has. I read more books in that three months than I ever had in any three month period before. But not only was I reading more, I was reading books that I would not have read if I didn't think this is what I'm going to read. Delirium, for example, was a book that I would have just never have got around to reading if I didn't have it on my shelf. But because I own it, I wanted to read it. Now, I know I didn't get around to reading everything on my shelf. I admittedly got very distracted with A Song of Ice and Fire, which I'm not even guilty about that. My reading is not specifically limited to what I have on my TBR shelf. If I want to read something, I'm going to read it and I don't feel too guilty about the fact that I didn't get around to reading everything because I still had a great reading time. So when making my summer shelf I have reflected on some of the things I learned about having a spring shelf. I've cut, put a couple of more books in, I've added a wider range of genres, a wider range of authors and locations, settings, what the book's about, cry, funny, fantasy, you know I've kind of got a little bit more in there. Some of these books are going to be buddy read which will make it even greater, I've never done a buddy read before and I've probably set myself up for two this summer so I'm really excited and if there's any books that you think you're going to read in this 
Um, let me know in the comments, add me on Twitter and we can talk about it as we're reading it. It gives me great pleasure to announce the books that I will be reading in this summer season right now. Okay, now I have my summer shelf, finally. I've been looking forward to this moment for ages. And these are the 18 books that I want to read in June, July and August. And finish in somewhere at the start of September in three months' time. Summer is my favourite time of month because I can just kind of like go outside, lie on the grass and read a good book. So, so it's usually the season that I read more books than any other season for some reason. Even though everyone else usually goes outside with their friends, I just like to go outside and read a book. But I'm sure most of you will understand that. Um, I have quite a range of books as usual because I get bored reading the same genre and... I like to read lots of different things. Um, I have some classics on here that I've been wanting to read for ages, I just haven't had a copy. And I've got some lighthearted stuff, some travelly kind of stuff, some really sad books in here, and some that I want to buddy read as well. And of course I have Minnie who will move along as I read the books and show me my progress from my bed so I can feel guilty that she isn't even halfway through the shelf in July. This isn't exactly the order I'm going to read them in, I'll probably just pick some at random. But first off, I have the first Lord of the Rings book. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. 1984 by George Orwell. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. <clears throat> a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I've never read. Like, I've not read any of these books. I'm really disappointed in myself. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. And if you watch my last video, which is my book bucket list, you'll know that this is on there. Wild by Cheryl Strayed, who I was recommended by by Hannah Sunday, whose link will be in the description box. The third book in the Throne of Glass series, which was on my spring shelf, but I never got around to it. Another book that was on my spring shelf that I never got around to, The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. Across the Universe by Beth Revis and I enjoyed these Broken Stars so much last time that I wanted to read something similar and this was re recommended to me by lots and lots of people. Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell who I think I'm going to buddy read with Michael from Bitten by Radioactive Book whose link will also be in the description. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I am so, so, so excited to get around to reading this. I've had this for about half a year and I've wanted to save it for the summer and I'm so excited. Part two of book five in the A Song of Ice and Fire series, which is the most recent book out and I'm so excited to save actually. I'm actually up to date with the books, like that's going to be a really good thing. This is three books in one. This is a trilogy by Murakami and... I've never read anything by him, but I wanted to read it in the summer because it'll be the two year anniversary of my time in Japan and I'm every day I really think about it and I'm dying to go back and I just wanted to get a bit of a range in where the authors were from when I was reading this, for example The Kite Runner. Um, I just wanted some variation in the authors. And I just haven't read a good autobiography in a while. I read Yes Please, I didn't really enjoy it, I know everyone's going to think, oh my god, what is wrong with you, but I just didn't enjoy it, it wasn't for me. Um, so I just want to read a really good non-fiction book and I think this one will be it. Summer is my absolute favourite time of year. I spend the rest of the seasons just waiting for summer to come round. You know, it's so great to just, I'm going to buy a sun lounger and put it outside this weekend and take some of these books outside and I'm just going to read. It's going to be beautiful. Yes, I have a dissertation to write, but you know, it's not important. Some videos that I'm getting around to doing this week especially is a review of Lolita, which I'm kind of dreading at the same time of really looking forward to sharing my opinions on. I have a vlog of my time in Wales, which has taken forever to edit. And I'm going to have some amazing charity shop haul this month. Like, I've already bought about 14 books in charity shops and it's cost me like £8 and they're amazing, immaculate condition. I can't wait to share what absolute bargains I've been buying this month. And of course the books I've been reading this month. So, thank you for watching this video, and like I said, if there's any books that you're planning on reading this summer which I have on my shelf, let me know in the comments and we can sort something out. And also, I feel like I'm missing some really summery books. Um, I've been trying to find some summery books. I don't really know what I mean by a summery book, but just a book that feels kind of summery. Like, holidays, travelling, camping, 
I don't know, road trips, something like that, but I can't really find a lot. Um, so I'd really appreciate some recommendations that I can also read alongside all of these wonderful books. So thank you for watching and sticking by me and to all the new subscribers, I can't believe how many I'm getting, like, just thank you. So I will see you at the weekend and thank you for watching. Bye.